So this is a video that I can tell you a little bit about. What's the video about? It's about schools here in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys. Well, why can you do that? Well, for 18 years, Leslie and I spent time teaching school, uh, and most of that time was here in our beautiful state of Virginia. So that's what this video is about. But instead of the public schools, like I've talked about in a lot of our videos, in this video, I'm going to be featuring eight private schools around the Stanton and Waynesboro area. And if you hang around throughout that video, you're gonna find out what they are. One of them's right behind me right now. But before I tell you about that school and more, let's go ahead and get started right now. Hi, my name's Stefan, along with my wife, Leslie. As local real estate agents here in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys, we get communication all the time from folks just like you who are looking to sell a home or to purchase a home. And like so many others who have called, we appreciate that so much and we love to help when you call. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, or whether you're looking to sell in nine days or 90 days, call us, text us, email us. That information is all in the description below. And we'll be happy to help you meet all of your real estate needs. Now, additionally, if you like our channel, we'd be honored if you click that subscribe button, touch that bell icon, so you can keep up to date with all the adventures that we go on here in, uh, in this area. And additionally, we'd appreciate it if you do that because it helps our channel grow. But not only that, you can help others as well. How do you do that? Well, when our channel grows, other individuals just like you who are looking to possibly learn more about this area, uh, get that information because as it grows, that word gets out there and it helps other people. All right. So it's time to take a look at several private schools here in the Stanton and Waynesboro area. Now, when deciding how to present these, for me, I guess the best way to do it was to go ahead and start with the oldest school and work up through the newest school founded. So with that being said, we are going to start with our first school and that is Stewart Hall. Stewart Hall is a boarding and day school located in Stanton, and it was founded as the Virginia Female Institute in 1844. Uh, and you know what? It can actually trace its roots back to 1827 as well. Now, over the years, Stewart Hill has always been associated with the Episcopal Church, but it accepts students of all faiths. Today, Stewart Hall is a co-ed school serving about 200 students in grades 6 through 12. It's a member of the church schools of the Diocese of Virginia. The school is accredited by multiple state and national organizations, as you can see here, and Stewart's Hall's mission is to prepare students of all faiths for success in universities worldwide and for engaged lives of intellectual curiosity, creativity, and contribution. Now, this mission plays out in the multiple college preparatory classes that Stewart Hall offers. Additionally, as a platinum level member, Stewart Hall receives the highest rating a school can receive among AP school honor roll schools. Now, student-teacher ratios are very low at Stewart Hall, with the vast majority of their faculty having advanced degrees as well. In addition to the academic opportunities at Stewart's Hall, they also offer multiple extracurricular activities uh, from uh, athletics, from an athletic viewpoint. I mean, you're going to find both male and female students uh, that can participate in soccer, basketball, cross country, and several other sports as well. Now, in the fine arts, the school is very similar to and engaged with the amazing art scene in the Stanton area, offering education and participation in visual, musical, and theatrical arts. For example, students desiring theatrical training collaborate with the Silverline Exchange Theater in Stanton and even have ties to the world-renowned American Shakespeare Center's Blackfriars Playhouse. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, the school accepts local students and is a boarding school as well, which comprises a large percentage of students at the school. Now, if you're interested in enrolling your child at Stewart Hall, you'll need to complete the online application and make sure that you've included additional information requested by Stewart Hall. From there, a committee will make an enrollment decision. 
Now, annual tuition for non-boarding students is $17,750 for grades six through eight, and $20,675 for students in grades nine through 12. You can also see the additional cost for boarding students on this graphic as well. All right, so now for our second school on the list, it's the one that's behind me right now, and that's Fishburn Military Academy, which first opened its doors in Waynesboro in 1879. And it's a private, male-only military school. Fishburn enrolls boys in grades seven through 12 and boasts multiple accreditations and partnerships. The mission at Fishburn is to provide each cadet with a sound academic foundation, a healthy and mental and physical environment, and leadership training for a better understanding of the obligations of honor, citizenship, and self-discipline. This mission plays out through eight core values that are infused into every area of a cadet's life throughout every moment of every day. Now, with an approximate student-teacher ratio of eight to one, smaller classes give the uh, approximately 110 cadets the opportunity for more interaction with teachers and students in a school that incorporates technology and STEM courses into the education process. While not all of the students from Fishburn go to attend college, Fishburn offers accelerated programs for those wishing to have them. Now, Additionally, all high school cadets are required to participate in the Junior ROTC program. Now, cadets aren't required to serve in the military upon graduation, but this leadership education training program is a goal and achieving and oriented program that matures cadets in leadership and citizenship. Athletic opportunities at Fishburn abound as well with over 13 team sports in which cadets can participate uh, and some of these sports include uh, things like football, soccer, basketball, wrestling, swimming, cross country, and golf, just to name some of them, right? Now, if you're interested in enrolling your son at Fishburn, uh, there's an online application for you to complete, after which you'll be contacted for an in-person or virtual interview. And after that, an enrollment decision will be made within five days. Now, annual tuition, for day students is $17,500. Now Fishburn also accepts domestic and international students and that information is listed below. All right, so that leads us to our third school on the list and that is C.F. Richards Christian School. Now C.F. Richards is a Seventh-day Adventist Christian school that opened in Stanton in 1959. C.F. Richards is a small school made up of only about 50 students from preschool up through the eighth grade. And C.F. Richards also, like the other schools, has multiple accreditations. Now, C.F. Richards has a very simple mission statement. That is, we exist to be a community of learners who love God and serve others. Their vision goes on to encourage students to excel in faith, learning, and service. This is done by blending biblical truth and academic achievement to honor God and to bless others. Now, as a small school with around 50 students, it has combined classes, but these class sizes are very small. Uh, traditional elementary school subjects like math, English, and history are all taught in the school. And of course, your child will attend a Bible class and chapel. Now, there are also technology classes for the children as well. Now, general music is taught in kindergarten through the fourth grade, while children in grades five through eight participate in learning how to play handbells. The school also offers many more unique activities and programs with students of all ages in all grades can enjoy. Now, if you're interested in enrolling your child at C.F. Richards, you'll need to contact the school and set up a meeting with the principal, at which time you can also take a tour of the school. After that, fill out an application and submit it for approval. And after that, a decision will be made. Now, annual tuition for students is $5,500 for children in kindergarten through eighth grade. All right, so that brings us to our fourth school on the list, and that is Ridgeview Christian School. Now, although not immediately in the Stanton-Waynesboro area, just a few miles down the road in Stewart's Draft, is where you'll find this school, which has been in operation since 1976. 
Now, Ridgeview Christian School is a Christian school that is sponsored by Ridgeview Baptist Church. Students from kindergarten through grade 12 attend Ridgeview, which has about 190 students. Additionally, it's affiliated with the Association of Christian Schools International. Now, the leadership at Ridgeview states that it is, quote, our vision for our students to think and lead for kingdom impact, end quote. Now, one of the ways in which Ridgeview fulfills this purpose is by striving for third place. <laughs> now, that doesn't have to do with the school's education, but rather it's a view taken from the Bible that reflects God's creation of the family first, the church second, and then the school should come third after that. This philosophy at Ridgeview guides many decisions and seeks a cooperative effort of all three entities in order to better, better educate each child. Now, according to Niche.com, Ridgeview has a 10 to 1 student ratio, student teacher ratio, uh, and considering the school's stated enrollment right now of 188, it provides many classes, uh, many small, provides many classes have smaller attendances, smaller grouping sizes of classes, which translates or should translate into more time with student and teacher interaction. Now, the school's principal curricula is Bob Jones University Press along with Becca Books, and they also use Horizons. Now, as with multiple other schools that you'll see will use this curric these curricula, Ridgeview uses them not only as a challenge to its students, but also to promote critical thinking skills and develop, to develop a Christian worldview. In addition to academics at Ridgeview, multiple types of fine arts are offered as well. Students sing, play instruments, and perform in theater productions throughout the year in order to gain confidence and to minister to others. For high school students, Ridgeview offers three options when it comes to graduation. In addition to a general diploma, a college prep diploma is offered, and in addition to this, an honors diploma is available for all students with a minimum 3.5 GPA. When choosing this honors track, honors students have the opportunity to graduate with an estimated 30 hours of college credit. Now, Ridgeview also has a full athletic program where multiple sports like basketball, baseball, and volleyball, and softball are played. Now, the secondary school uh, plays in the Virginia Christian Athletic Association, the league in which multiple other schools in the area play, which makes for some good rivalries. Now, if you're interested in enrolling your child at Ridgeview, you'll want to give them a call for a meet and greet and tour their facility. After that, there are several steps involved in the enrollment process, which includes both student and family interviews, as well as a letter of pastoral reference from a local church of at least one parent. Now, of all the schools that we're going to talk about today, Ridgeview offers the most affordable education of all, with tuition for the first child of only $5,200 and discounts for families with multiple children, Ridgeview is a great Christian school option for families with multiple children who are looking for a strong Christian education. All right, so our next school on the list is Grace Christian School. Now, since 1980, Grace Christian School in Stanton has provided students with a traditional Christian liberal, liberal <laughs> arts education. Uh, Grace has an enrollment of approximately 325 students in preschool through 12th grade, and it draws from over 200 families and 65 churches here in the area. Uh, now, the mission of Grace is to assist Christian parents by providing a sound academic education in a Christ-centered environment designed to prepare young people to know God and to live in obedience to His will for their lives. Now, Grace is fully accredited with multiple organizational institutions, including the Association of Christian Schools International, which is one of the world's largest Christian school accrediting organizations. Now, according to Niche.com, Grace has about a 12 to 1 student-teacher ratio, which is well below the national average. From its two campuses in Stanton, Grace provides a strong academic education at every grade level with students testing at or above the national average. The curriculum used to uh, accomplish this academic success comes from multiple sources, but some of the more common names are Saxon Math, uh, the uh, Becca Books, and Bob Jones University Press. You've heard those two before. Now, 
Not only does Grace provide a strong academic foundation, but they also give students the opportunity to excel in the fine arts as well. Students in the elementary grades regularly participate in music and art classes, and middle and high school students can be part of chorus, music, uh, music appreciation classes, art classes, and drama classes. Now, students regularly use these skills to minister at programs inside and outside the school as well. Now, Grace also affords students the opportunity to be involved in a full range of athletics. Elementary school students are able to enjoy intramural soccer in the fall and basketball in the winter. And of course, there are multiple boys and girls athletic programs for middle and senior high school students as well. Now, another advantage of Grace families uh, who attend Grace is that unlike many Christian schools, Grace offers bus transportation to and from school in Stanton and the Waynesboro areas for, of course, an additional fee. So if you're interested in enrolling your child at Grace, uh, there's a multi-step process and because Grace partners with uh, and assists parents in their child's education, there are additional criteria as well. Tuition varies, but for students in kindergarten through 12th grade, uh, it's in the eight to $9,000 range. And you can see each specific tuition on this graphic as well. So our next school on the list is Appalachian Christian School. Uh, having made a move over the mountain into the Shenandoah Valley in Waynesboro in the fall of 2020, Appalachian Christian School, formerly known as Afton Christian School, enrolls about 170 students in grades kindergarten through 12. And in addition to the K through 12 grade school, the school also offers the Trailblazer Learning Center Preschool. Now, originally founded in 2001, their mission statement is as follows, quote, Appalachian Christian School is a caring, Christ-centered educational institution that partners with parents in the training of students to love God, to value wisdom, to serve others, and to take action in God's leading and purpose for their life, end quote. <laughs> Their mission statement is an integral part of all aspects of the school, from academic classes to Bible classes to student chapel and to the arts and athletics as well. Now, with a very low student-teacher ratio, Appalachian gives much individual attention to its students. On the high school level, a dual credit program enables, ju enables <laughs> juniors and seniors to enroll in freshman courses, freshman college courses that is, and to earn college credit as well as high school credits at local institutions of higher education. Now, graduating seniors can receive either a general or advanced diploma as well. Uh, Appalachian offers several fine arts opportunities and additionally as a member of the Virginia Association of Christian Athletics Athletic Conference, secondary students can avail themselves of several sports opportunities throughout the year. Uh, those opportunities include sports for both boys and girls, uh, and you'll see them play soccer, volleyball, basketball, cross country, and golf. Now, if you're interested in enrolling your child in Appalachian Christian School, there's a multi-step process seen here. But you can begin by contacting the school and requesting a tour of the facility. Now, Appalachian was originally founded with the desire to make Christian education affordable to all people. And with a tuition of less than $7,000 for all grade levels, Appalachian is one of the more affordable private school options in the area. So next on the list is Augusta Christian Academy. Now, Augusta Christian Academy is an open enrollment Christian school located in Fishersville that just opened last year in the fall of 2023. Now, when Augusta Christian School opened its doors, it enrolled 80 students in its first year. And with all 80 of those students returning for next school year, and with an additional 80 new students that have already enrolled this year at 160 students, ACA is the fastest growing private Christian school in the area. Now, the school opened as a kindergarten through eighth grade school, and it'll be adding a grade every year until they are kindergarten through 12th grade. Now this year, high school freshmen will be part of the school and will have an opportunity to be the first graduating class in when? 2028. Now, the mission of ACA is multifaceted as shown here, but it 
can be summarized in the first and last sentences of their statement. Augusta Christian desires to create a learning environment with a biblical foundation with the primary focus being to share the love of Jesus and working to lead children to Christ. Now with a 12 to 1 student teacher ratio in their first year of existence, Grace will continue to increase their faculty in order to help students excel in a personalized traditional school setting. Now, Augusta Christian Academy currently uses two very well-known and reputable Christian school publishers. <laughs> You've heard them before, A. Becca and Bob Jones University Press. Now, these curricula are, tr are traditional in format and assist in educating from a biblical worldview to the students in the school. Now, ACA also has music and art programs along with soccer, basketball, and cross country. And no doubt, as the school continues to grow, uh, this will continue to grow as well. The athletic programs, the fine arts, and uh, the amount of the scope and sequence and all of the extracurricular programs that the school currently offers. Now, if you're interested in enrolling your child at Augusta Christian, there are several steps, but you can begin by contacting the school for a visit for your child and a tour for you as a parent. And after that, you'll want to go online to their website and begin the process by completing an application for enrollment. Tuition at Augusta Christian ranges between $6,600 and $7,300 according to grade level. However, uh, it's a little different than most private schools because ACA has a variable tuition that can change according to the needs and financial statuses of families. Now, of course, there's a process for approval, but multiple students at the school qualify for tuition assistance in this manner. Now, one final school that I'll go ahead and mention here real quick is St. Mary's Catholic School, which will be opening in Stanton. Now, St. Mary's has a projected opening date of fall 2025, and at that time, it will provide residents of Stanton and other neighborhoods here a, another option uh, in a private religious school setting. So, I hope this video has been a help to you. You know, Leslie and I, we often get uh, questions from people with families who are moving here to the area about what school district should I be in or where should I place my child? And sometimes we get questions about private schools as well. So, while I've talked about public schools in the past, I figured I'd put together a video on some of the private schools here in the area uh, between Stanton and, and Waynesboro. And if you're interested in selling your home here in the area, or if you're interested in purchasing a home, Leslie and I would be more than happy to put all those years of teaching and education to use for you by helping go to work for you and to find that home for you or to sell your home. We just ask that you contact us like so many other people have, and that information's all in the description down below. So, here on the campus of Fishburn Military Academy on a beautiful, beautiful spring night here in Waynesboro, Virginia. Until next time, I'll see you around town.